Welcome back folks. This is lesson 73. Uh, and today I thought what we'd do is, this is a place I want to show you. These, uh, it's, it's a place called Peggy's Cove. And Peggy's Cove is in Canada. It's a place I've visited uh, when on the cruise ships and uh, and, and I, I found it stunning. It was the, the simple light out on a, on a crag of rocks and all sorts like this. The sea down here, and of course, at a high level, so therefore my horizon line will be will be up with my eye as well. I've mussed out the actual lighthouse and uh, and, a, and a bit of foam for the sea. And I thought, see how we go, shall we? So the colour I've got today is winds of blue, red shade. That's a start. Then we, we can add little bits as we go along. That's the start, anyway. I better just I take a quick picture of that just to make sure that we've got something to put on the front of the the video, so people can copy it if they want. That'll do. And off we go. I've mixed a bit, just a touch of. Winter blue red shade there, N nothing, nothing special. It's just, and I'm, I'm working with a dry sky today. To see how we go. And the light is coming from the left, so that the, the we've got the blue sky over here. And of course, we'll get we'll get clouds, won't we? Things like that. So we will we'll hopefully have a few clouds in this, this picture as well. And as I come towards the ride, I'm going to put a touch of alizarin crimson into that, just a touch, just to make that, uh, that sky a little bit more dark, just there. I say I've masked out the, the, the lighthouse to give you a bit of... Uh, chance with that because it's, it's white the lighthouse with, with touches of red on it and these uh, clouds of course if the lights from the the, the, the left we're going to get some sort of shadow color which I've used a touch of this alizarin crimson and the and the French ultra and I mean winds of a red shade uh, together to try and give you sort of a, a sort of a shadowy colour. Let's see how we go. So on the bottom of these we're gonna get some shadows, aren't we, on the in the clouds. This is away from the sun. Blend it in. A towering cumulus cloud there. Soften the thing here while it's still wet. A bit more litter in there. Too pretty. Look at the bottom of that. So we're not lively, lively sky with uh, with, with clouds in it, cumulus clouds. Some down the other right in here, and a bit. Because we're a bit narrow down the bottom, aren't they?
Let's get the cloud. I've spent a bit of time with this because it's 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 a two thirds hour painting, isn't it? Yeah, this peg is cool. Which we 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 were going we did we did a trip sort of across to New York and did New York and did all the trips down Rhode Island and and uh, Bar Harbor, beautiful spots and like that, and uh, stunning, it's stunning, absolutely stunning, and uh, had a great time. And I just came to this spot and we, I went on this trip to this uh, this Peggy's Cove, but I didn't know what to expect. It's a nice little sort of wooden wooden light buildings within it. It's and they're paintable as well, but I can't paint everything at once. But uh, this is this is the that that that's a sky that'll do. I don't want to mess about with it. Just that's the sky. That seems dry now. Now what I want to do now is I want to put the, the put this the, the sea in. And before I start all this, this twiddly bits around here, so and I've I've got a dodgy line there by the look of it because I've, I've gone over it, over it, and that. So what I'm going to do to 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 do myself a favour, if you like, you might be gone cheating if you like, but I'm just going to put a line across there. Take just a bit where I've painted. And that will protect the sky while I paint the, the bottom of it because the sky is dark, the sea is darker. So let's let's put some sea in there now. And using the same colours, the same colours, the I was using the uh, ultramarine, uh, oh, I the ultramarine, the winter blue red shade, and uh, and the alizarin crimson. So I'm mixing it as I go along. I don't know if you can see that. I'm, I'm not, it's just a piece of paper I've got, and I'm, I'm trying different combinations on the winter blue red shade and, and the uh, Elysian crimson, just to get the right right type of shade I want. And I think, looking at it, I think that's that bottom one's best. So let's give it a try and see how we go, shall we? So this I can put in there like that, you see? That will protect my sky. I've got that must have, so that's protecting that. On the rocks. And I put some masking fluid down it with, with some just some like foam, a lot of foam because it's, it's quite rocky around here. So I'll put this on as, as an undercoat if you like. a bit further forward here it comes into like a, a, a valley up uh, the, in here I'm just going to put it lightly in just want to show some some foam and stuff like that so I've must have it out there and let's see how we go it might not work but we'll see we can but try can't we so we've got it right there. See, it's, it's pulled the masking blue, but at least I've, I've got a rise down there, which is which reasonably straight. And as I say, with, with perspective, I put brought perspective into this because as you as you sort of uh, uh, go up a hill, like which I'm, I'm sitting on a hill here, overlooking the the, the lighthouse and that. Uh, the, the 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 eye level moves up with me, and and the eye level is where the sea level is as well. So if I go any higher, the sea will come higher as well. And if I go lower, the sea will go lower. So, so just a little tip for beginners there, that uh, it, 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 uh, it, it solves one or two little problems. Right, let's get this here stuff off here before we go any further. It's a basic, simple, simple uh, lighthouse, this. But it, that's what it's doing its job, it's having the, the, the boats on, on, onto, the, onto the rocks. But the rocks are so beautiful there, and I, I couldn't help photographing it and, and, and uh, so impressed with it. 
Right, let's see what we can do with these rocks now. And these rocks are like a, 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 a pale, a, a pale grey browny colour. So that's then we're going to start mixing one, two bits and pieces in here now. So if I start off with the touch of raw sienna, which is one of my favourites, as you know. Raw sienna with a touch of that, that what I've been using for the sea, pinch a bit of that into it. A bit more because it's still a bit greeny that. I don't want green, I want like a bluey. See what that's like. Yeah, that don't I'm, I'm using this bit of paper here see, and then it don't look too bad that. We'll see how we go. With these rocks. So the, this this will be the uh, the undercoat. Because there's uh, because with the, the the light on it and that it and the the shade it'll it'll give it sort of three dimensional look about it. But this this is just getting the undercoating. Well, there's even bushes in between in between these, which is nice. It'll give some separation. There's crevices and all sorts down here. You find it was difficult to walk on. And you're allowed to go up there, so uh, so it must, they must not lose many people. Well, they don't mention it anyway. I get a smaller brush. That's the number ten I'm using, by the way, folks. If you're interested, I'll get a number six now. We should, we should be able to cope with that. And, and put in some, let's see the light's from the left isn't it, so we're going to put some darks on these rocks, or darker, darker shades. So we'll mix that colour there. Here we've got. Try some darker shades down in areas. Yeah. Yeah. So keep keep in mind where the, where the light's coming from. It's, it's coming from that side. So the the, the the shadow will be it'll hit it'll hit this this ump here, and then the the shadow will be behind it there. See, and of course it's it, it's left, but it's 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 back left. So it's, it's going to come from that direction over there. And some of this frontage here will, will also be in shade down here, these rocks down here. But a bit darker than that, that's the front. Anyway, I'll, I'll get to that later, but let's get these basic shadows and that in first and the shapes of the, the crevices and that. A bit more brown in there, I think. Yeah, put a touch of burnt sienna in there just to, to darken it a little bit. And it's had the desired effect. So I've got to shape some of these and I said the, the, the strange rocks because there's like little little crevices in them and like this look, like cracks in the in the rocks. Don't ask me why, I don't know anything about them but uh, but uh, I do a painting, so that 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 was worth while. Right. And even this one is coming across here like that, you see. And you can get these cracks in this as well as it comes down here. Even in the shadow area there as well. You 
Oops, I said eighteen was. You ever get a chance to go there? Put it on your bucket list. It's uh, it is quite quite a, a nice place. And uh, he, on this trip, we, we went to uh, my my youngest daughter's partner, his his his, his father and his partner. They, they on this part live in Rhode Island, which is uh, was on our trip. So so naturally, we, we took the, the advantage of contacting them, and uh, they, they made us so welcome. They they, they, they took us out in, in Rhode Island, and and instead of just wandering around, we. We, we saw a lot of royal, <laughs> and he, he took us for a, a, a bit of lunch. And I said, well, we're, not, we're eating so much on the ship, so we shan't want much, you know, it's just, just a snack, all right. So said, oh, yeah, okay, just a snack then. And uh, he took us in this pizza place. Well, I have, I have never, ever seen anything like it. Now, Carol and I, we ordered a small pizza between us, and it was just like a dustbin lid. It was enormous. <laughs> I've never eaten. I, I thought I would never eat all this, but it, it was gorgeous. It was lovely. I enjoyed every bit of it. But it was it was it was a real nice experience. Of course, then we went up to uh, up to Baja. Baja was nice, and, and then but Quebec, lovely, <clears throat> and New England. Now New England. Well, we just put some some of the, some. Rocks down here coming down like this. They're all cracky and that. New England, I tell you about New England, that is absolutely stunning. You've seen all these on the on the, the TV where the in the fall, New England in the fall. Wow. I mean, I've seen it on the telly, but I, I, I just didn't believe it. It, it was unbelievable. It, it the, the colour is is. It, it, well, I wouldn't paint it because it, it was just too difficult. It was it was so bright and dark, and it was lovely. And yet, and yet, some, we've been there. We've been fortunate every really, because we've been there on three occasions. And on one occasion, uh, I thought, "What's this all about?" This. And uh, uh, apparently, what it is, it's one of the locals told me, "This, this." Uh, that the the actual riot of colour in that lasts about two weeks, and that's all. And after that, it's gone. And we must have gone on that, and been unfortunate because it varies, and gone on that period when there was just a, there was no, just no colour, and it, it was it was miserable. But this time we caught it right. Oh, I tell you, it was it was. Which, you know, you know, can explain how, how good it was. It was lovely. So I'm, I'm t just continuing on twiddling on with these bits here. You've got to put twiddling. Because these rock, this rock comes, breaks up and goes across the other. Like that. And yeah, they, they, it's one piece, but they've got funny, funny shapes and like this. There, and of course there's, there's the one in front here, which is a will shape this one as well. I mean, you can you can you, you can make this up as you're going along, folks. So don't 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 sketch it in. Just just. To, just trying to get bits that look that look interesting. Another shadow a bit there. Some twiddly bits down here. They go into a valley. Just get this, this colour right in there. Might be a bit dark, that, but I'll try to 
you get some real crevices down here which, which, which is going to be quite dark. Put these in. It'll bring the thing forward, it will. I don't know if you heard that while it's recording, it's a, a, one of our squawky f pheasants that keep going. I lost self feeding them. I think it's a hotel they do. And another thing I did, I was talking about New England and all that, and I tell you what, we, we, we did while we were there, the, we took it on a trip and we went to this uh, maple syrup place. Now, I didn't know, but they get out in trees and stuff like that, but, but they had a long, long row of ice and then pour this stuff on it and it's, it's just like, uh, like, like toffee. It's fantastic. You, you, you can gorge on it. You know, it's just it's there, there to gorge on, which is, which is lovely. I did my share of gorging, you know. You've got to represent yourself, haven't you? And you can't just not touch it. So we had, we had a smashing time there. And, uh, and, that, that, and when we went to, got to Quebec itself, it's a hotel there, it's a, it's, it's a French name, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm getting worse. I can't remember what the French name was, but uh, but it was, it's, it's, it's a very posh hotel. And it's, and it's the, 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 the flunk is all over. And, uh, and you, you weren't really allowed to go in. But somehow, I, I don't know how, because I like me, I like me camera and stuff like that, I, uh, I managed to get inside the foyer, and I, I thought, "Wow, this is smashing!" And then there was there was, there was people mocking this these shadows. Of, as I'm going, the lights on the left, don't forget. Uh, I managed to get up the uh, I went up the escalator or left, whatever you call it, and uh, there was a bloke in there with a, a you know his, his dress on. He, he, he was to press the buttons, and I went right to the top. And looked out of the window from the top and got some lovely pictures. And I still got the feeling that we, we weren't allowed up there or anywhere near it. But, but you win some, don't you? You would hear wins. So we, we tried it and won. Anyway, I'll, I'll leave that for a bit and see how we go. That, that's just establishing where the rock is. Right, uh, I'll do that bit of C and I'll, I'll concentrate on the lighthouse now. Let's see what we've got for the lighthouse. Now the lighthouse is white, this piece here, and it's got a red top on. So let's, let's see if we can sort this out. There's like a little lean tool here on it. So I'm going to get a smaller brush on that, I think. Need to. Well, that'll do it. In fact, uh, I'll do the red top first, get that out of the way. Now I'm using cadmium red for this, like Fred's jumper. The top is, I hope this is dry, I'm putting my hand on it. Got a pip on the top. Comes down here. Don't like that lump there. Make it like that. And then the other side to match. So you can make mistakes, but, but if you if you're lucky, good or cheeky, you get get out of it. I made a mistake there, but I managed to get out of it by making the other side the same. 
Right now this this side comes down here. I'm keeping my mouth shut because I can get this wrong dead easy. Because if they don't have windows in there, there's no nowhere to shine the light, is there? Just a thought, you know. But uh, put a bit of crust there. this anchored a bit there and what it does that that red thing which I like it, it's it's our focal point isn't it it's on the third like we said in the uh, composition and stuff like that so it's doing its thing Right, that's that bit. Let's have a look at this, uh, this other thing now. There's three, three uh, windows in down, down here. Uh, I'll put usually this cover. I've got a bit left here. I'm sure, that'll be all right. Might be a bit darker, be better. Equally spaced, though. I mean, that the the masking fluid is taking it out, but not to worry. We'll put them in. I dotted in the middle there. One, two. Straighten the bottom of it. Another window about here. A bit bigger than the others. Don't know why. Which is. And then this this lean to here. Let's get a bit of a dark under there. And it, it comes into the building itself. It's part of it. shape comes down there like that. On the angle. I haven't painted it wrong, it's just it's on the angle like that. Right, there's a bit of dark. A dark ledge. Under there. Comes cuts in, and then it's it's a harsh part. It's all right. So we we get the bits and pieces done now. I'll leave that for a bit now, because the uh, we'll do some shadows later and get it get it, bring it together. Right, I think we'll tackle this this bit of sea here. That's that's. Uh, so we've got a bit of white area there, so we, what we've got to try to do now is just sculpture that into like uh, 
well, well blues and, and all colours is the, that you get in foam. Uh, so we'll start with uh, let's see the the blue the blue for the sky will come into it, won't it? Definitely. So we'll get some of this this blue in here. It's quite ragged and uh, and I want to put in some uh, turquoise because that that's always nice to just to, to turquoise in there. It, Use them two colours. Get this in with the foam, and that you know, this sort of stuff. up against the rocks and crashes onto it. Don't put too much into that or it's gonna get some darks in there as well. Turn a bit more of the shape of waves and that things like that just to take it out to the side here. Don't stop it turning at the edge of the picture. Of course it's gonna crash up here and stuff like that. Just got to make it look, look interesting. More green in there. So just as, as you're doing that, just just make it up as you go along, and sculpture these little bits that that we, we, you've always watched. You've all watched uh, the see it in rocks and stuff like that, and, and just just try to imagine what, what what will happen in this area here. The waves crashing up round there. Leave, leave some white. You've got to leave some white because that's 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 the form. Out this bottom bit, it brings it towards you. Flick it up into it. Right, and what I also want to do is it, it, the, the, the sea wouldn't just just stop one colour like that and then turn to this. So I'm going to put some of this, this colour we're using down here in, into the rest of the sea. But not, not a lot, just to, just to sort of kill off the niceness. It was too nice. Well, 
Turn the light out. Don't paint that blue, whatever you do. It's just taking off that, uh, that that flatness and that bit of darkness there has brought it towards us a bit. Because we're trying to make it uh, sit down as opposed to standing up like this. If it's the same colour, it'll stand up like that and you know, it'll look like at a wall. So if we gradually darken lighter, 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 it'll, it'll lie down, hopefully. Let's give it a touch, just a touch more about here. And then sort of fill in. Right. That'll do that. Just a touch there. Which is those rocks. Just there. Stop fiddling. Right. <coughs> There's a, too much of a line there. I'm going to soften that line there a bit. Right. Stop it. Now, also, when I was there, there, were, there wasn't just me, sadly. So there's, there's, there's people uh, knocking about on here, you know, all, all over it. And, and of course, they, they, they've got to be... Uh, small enough to get through that door there, there's a door there which is beyond that rock so we've got to put some little people in I mean just uh, you've got to make it easier as you go along folks but it, it lets you know the size of the lighthouse because these these figures are quite small I mean I'm talking this this sort of thing it's But I'm going to zoom on this, this, you know, I can't afford one, but uh, I'm just going to try one or two figures that's knocking about and perhaps one or two on the rocks as well. It's, it's, it's catching about, because they, they can get all over here, it's, it's quite interesting. They're not all dressed in red, by the way, it's just, a, just an odd one or two of them. I've got it on my brush, so I'm, I'm, going, to, I'm going to use it up. Right, let's have some blue one, shall we? We'll have a nice cobalt blue. Any any blue will do, but uh, I'm just picking that just, just to put a bit of cobalt in there. You'll be with this bloke here. They're talking about the price of fish, they are. And then there's this one, so one down here with this one. One here with this one. I'll have one just here. One here. I say they are small, these people. Don't, uh, don't go mad. I'll put a few in anyway, but uh, uh, perhaps uh, I'll put Mabel in. She likes a trip. Good old Mabel. Not going to be anywhere without her. So she's because it's they're holiday making. They're, they're in their coloured coloured outfits and stuff like that. And there, she's out here and she she she, she loves it. She's uh, she's made a, a move right out to the edge of the cliff there. And one here. Right, I'll put on some trousers because it's drafty there. Oops, he's got some baggy trousers on. Put him head on. That little one can be his be a son. Legs on, legs on, legs on. Legs on this one. Head on it. Head on this one. Legs on it. I 
Perhaps it's without the figures. I mean, they, they, they're not much figures, but, but they're, they're they're an indication. Without figures, it looks a bit uh, a bit desolate. I suppose it, it, it could be desolate in winter. Ooh, I bet it's I bet it's dodgy there. In fact, in the, there was a gift shop there, and they had pictures of this in snow. Oh dear, you should have seen it. We got we got the best one of the best days. No, 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 I'm just going to check what I'm doing here. Legs on that and the head on it. Oops. It's a bit funny. Put a put a black jumper on that one. Put a then a head. And the pigs are that. These two both black heads. They're having a right nut of them too. So you get little people and big people. Some down here just stood here talking. He's talking how many cruises he's been on, you know. He's, he's, you meet him on all the cruises. They like to tell you how many cruises he's been on. I don't know why. There's another one just here. Now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Another one, I don't think you have even number, you know that. So it's got to be another person somewhere. I know, in that doorway. In the doorway. Fred, he'll be at the front of the queue, he will. We'll put Fred in there, right in the middle of the doorway there. I could put him hanging off the, <laughs> off the lockdown, I won't. Uh, let's put him just here. Uh, all you see is the top of him because he's behind that rock. There you are, Fred. Doing his thing. So that's 15 people. That's enough for anybody. And uh, I think we better just. The lights are out from there. Now they've got some shadows in. Shadows next, folks. You might get a bird in the end if you're lucky. I know what I forgot. There's some uh, there's some grass or grass uh, in amongst this here. So I better put that grass in, or we'll, we'll we'll never get away with it. Because I mentioned it earlier. Some of you said he never put that grass in, did he? Well, I will do. Just so just keep people happy, you know. It, it, there's, a, there's some, some about here comes on here. Yes, it's, it's comes down there. It's some of this and these the crevices here. I don't know how it manages to grow really because it's, it's quite close to the sea. That's it, stop. Why, so we, this is the foreground bit, this. We better put some down in here with this, isn't this is. Darker, darker colour in there. Blast it, that's not in the paint. What was in here? Makes a bit of shadow colour. The colours I use for, I, I like to use for shadow, is a pretty uh, standard one. It's, I use uh, ultramarine and, uh, and burnt umber, and, and they're both transparent, those colours. So what it does, it uh, whatever you whatever you 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 put your shadows on, what the colour below it will, will will sort of still shine through. So so that's a bonus. Right, let's 
see what we can see if we can do something with this. That's on the lighthouse, because it's it's in shade at the front face because the light is coming from back left over there it's coming from there like that so this front face here is going to be in shade and that's going to be in shade that little shed there so we're going to start putting some shadow in this thing uh, of course Fred and Mabel here or this, this couple here they're, they're going to be in shade with them and of course that will cast a shadow at the building on this thing here, won't it? Like this. Don't forget that. That will cast a shadow down there. The the lighthouse will be in shade. Let me get this right. Under here. Shine come across there like that, in shade, and this space will be in shade. And there, and then goes down the. It's like a, a sectioned lighthouse. It's not round. Very carefully, we will get the edge in the in this sky and the sea, you know, and that. And I don't think you would see uh, the, the, the shadows cast by these people. You might get a touch, I'll put a touch on here just to keep you happy. Like this sort of stuff, you know that. Anything for a quiet life, that's me. Right, that that's not, not a touch of well, fine give me a fine brush. We're gonna get some light in this this tower here. Shadow there, shadow there, a bit of back, back there, couldn't that back window? And get a touch of shadow under this here. Just from there. I might get, I mean, I'm, I'm fiddling now. You might get a touch on this pip. But I don't want, don't want to go mad. Now, let's accept some shadows on these rocks now because th these are important as well. Now, don't forget where the light's coming from. So we're going to get shadow on the front face of these things, like down here. Which are away from the sun. There'll be quite a shadow on that one there. From that one, that root, that curve one. Maybe one down this one here. And some down the bottom of this here. As it comes towards the sea. And the lighthouse, of course, will cast a shadow across the rock, won't it? Because it's, it's this way. You see from that thing? So you'll, you'll get this shadow across the rock, like this. And you'll lose it down in this, in this, this rock there. But that's where you'll get it. And it'll anchor it about. 
I haven't put any shadow on this side of the red thing, so I better put some on that. I nearly forgot that. It just shows you how easy it is. I could muck the lot up with this. now. Uh, do you want a bird? I'll have to give you value for money. You know, if you want a bird, you can have a bird. It is seaside, isn't it? So let's, let's find a gull, shall we? Three. I'll put another one somewhere over here. Oh, there's, there's three goals there. And then take the brush off me because I'm messing. I'm fiddling. Well, that's it for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. This is called Peggy's Cove, and it's in Canada. If you look it up on the map, you can find it and uh, and see exactly where it is. It's a beautiful spot. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, I've enjoyed painting it. And uh, if you did, give us a like and a subscribe, and and I'll join you on lesson 80, oh, 73, is it? I'm, I'm losing track. 74. Anyway, until then, folks, it's, it's goodbye from me.